Okay, so I can easily recognize my husband's voice no matter what, how many people are in a room or if he's calling me from a far distance, right? In the same way, I can easily recognize my friend's voice, my mother's voice, my sister's voice, people that I have a close relationship with, I can easily recognize their voice um, in any sort of uh, environment or atmosphere. Even if there's other people talking at the same time, I can decipher which is which, right? The reason why I'm able to do that is because I've spent so much time with them over over time and over the years that I just I, I can easily recognize their voice. In the same way, when you're tr when you're trying to hear and recognize the voice of God, it does not happen if you do not spend quality time with Him in His Word and in prayer. Because the more time you spend with God, reading His Word, praying, and seeing how He speaks, seeing how He responds, how He's done it before, the more you can begin to recognize when He is speaking to you or when He is speaking in your life. It is no different. So there's no substitution for being in the Word. There's no substitution for quality time. There's no substitution. And so when you want to be able to hear the voice of God better, get in the Word and pray. Um, another way that you can learn to recognize the voice of God is through a mentor. And I think about the story of Samuel. God was calling Samuel and Samuel kept running to his mentor, Eli, because uh, he thought he was hearing the voice of Eli. And after a while, Eli's like, e Eli recognized that maybe this was God trying to call Samuel. So Eli tells him, okay, next time you hear the voice, say, you know, speak, Lord, your servant is listening, right? So, so then uh, Samuel goes back to bed and then he hears the voice of God calling him. So he says, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And God begins to speak to Samuel. And so that's another way that you can learn to recognize the voice of God. But understand this, that should not be the primary way. The, nothing can substitute your own personal time with God in the word, in prayer, in seeking the face of God. But that's another way that you can learn to recognize the voice of God by working with a trusted mentor. We have a tendency of idolizing people and we have a tendency of putting people on a pedestal and making people replace us seeking God for ourselves, okay? Do not make that mistake. Yes, it's a helpful way for you to continue to grow and for you to begin to recognize the, the ways that God may be speaking to you in a particular situation or in your life, but nothing substitutes your own personal time with God. No human being should be a substitute for your own personal pursuit after God. No human being should replace you spending time in the Word.